All right, so last time I was in here, I was answering questions from some fans who seemed a little too preoccupied with my wife and my marital situation. And all I've got to say is if any more of you sons of bitches post pics of my wife on that goddamn Action Figure Therapy Facebook page, I'm going to hunt you down, shove a trash can lid down your dick, and break dance on it. That goes for you, Gary Phillips, Alan Pearson, and Jason Edmond. Each one of you can be expecting a butt-fucking of the soul coming your way real soon. That point being taken care of, last time I was in here I also said I'd explain how I use my wife's proclivity for wasting money hiring persons of questionable citizenship to work in our house to play a little prank on old Tin Man the Idiot office manager. So here's how it all went down. I figured if my wife is going to go around blowing my hard earned cash on frivolous things like all those gaudy pictures of France and people kissing and whatnot that she keeps buying at the Target store and hanging up in our kitchen and living room, I might as well spend a little of my own dough on something actually worthwhile. So I took $200 in poker winnings I had hidden away in an old ammo box in the garage and I headed down to the Home Depot. When I got there, I hired three or four day laborer dudes hanging out in the parking lot for a little clandestine home improvement job of my own. Here's one thing you might not know about old Chrome Dome. Besides being a first-rate cocksucker and a total pain in the ass to work with, he's also a real prissy pants when it comes to his beloved Porsche that he drives to work every morning. He's always out there at lunchtime rubbing it down with his chamois and throws a real big fit if anyone parks too close next to it or a bird shits on it or anybody leans against it. He's a real prick. Luckily, Captain ShamWow has as big of a boner for two-hour PowerPoint debriefings as he does his stupid little Wattmobile. And that's exactly where my buddies from Home Depot came in. When we arrived at the AFT headquarters building, Silverdick was nowhere to be found, so I gave those hombres from Home Depot the tools from the motor pool and told him to strip his car down to the axle rods. Then I had him carry the pieces inside and rebuild it in his office. Now you're probably thinking this prank sounds similar to the one played by Val Kilmer in the 1985 comedic vehicle Real Genius, and you'd be right if I hadn't taken it one step further. In addition to being handy with a wrench, our Latin brothers are also pretty goddamn talented when it comes to using a spray gun or paint can. I mean, these guys will paint flames and their name on anything from a 76 Impala to a public restroom toilet seat. It's pretty much in their blood. So I gave the boys the order to cover Buckethead's beloved Porsche fender to fender and floorboards to sunroof and dicks. Not just dicks, giant flaming dicks. And they did. The look in his face when he got back to his office and found his car covered in smoldering boners was priceless. I thought he was going to rust himself to death crying his little balls off like he did. He freaked out pretty bad and released a phalanx of six foot robot attack spiders on the day laborer dudes almost immediately. But with a little evasive tactical driving on my part, I was able to scoop the guys up my minivan and get them back to Home Depot with only a few nicks and scratches. That'll teach that stuck up prima donna to mess with me and Bagel Monday. You mess with a hammer and I'll cover you in flaming dicks. And speaking of dicks, Phillips, Pearson, Edmund, keep those photos of my old lady off of Facebook. Or else it's your dick, trash can lid, moonwalk. Believe it. <laughs>